Hey, love bugs, it's Rosalind back at you one more again. I hope everybody is doing blessed. I'm doing blessed and highly favored and definitely hope the same for you. And if this is your first time stopping by my channel, much love to you and welcome. And to my returning subs, my grown extended beautiful family, just thank you so much for, you know, healing yourself, allowing yourself to be educated for the things that are coming your way. Um, being able to not stand in your blessings and let, you know, things go on the flow for you so you can receive your blessings. So with that being said, much love to all. Namaste, love and blessings, love and light, and many blessings are definitely coming your way. And if you have been watching my videos for a while and have not already, please like and subscribe. You can hit that notification bell so you know when your girl's about to upload her next video. Also, if you are comfortable enough, please drop me a line or two. I love the chance to get to know you as much as you're getting to know moi. And I would love for you, even if it's about you sending, the, uh, you know, uh, reacting off of the positive feedback of my video. I don't know why I got stuck on that. Positive feedback of my video. Or even you tell me about your impact, the gift, and how it impacted your life and hit you towards a positive direction. Or if you feel like the videos gave you good vibes or good information you would love to share with a loved one, family, or friend, or even a fellow empath are going through some trying times and need validation or confirmation towards their soul purpose or even their life path, please go ahead and share. And while you're at it, give me a thumbs up, like, and also share on your social media favorites, whatever you see fit. And thank you once again for the love and support. It is so greatly appreciated. I'm glad I can be able to send you confirmation towards the things in your life and your and validations that you know hey this is my purpose and thank you so much for the love and support and i hope you're able to resonate with the content of my video and today this beautiful music like i tell y'all you've been with me for a while you would know i love uh buddha music uh or even when i just see the buddha image i, I always love that um it's called 528 hertz music for the soul positive energy or a boost light music for tran tranquility and vibrancy and i will post that link in the description box below and today my video is about twin flame 101 hey okas when others think that you're crazy no you're just spiritually enhanced and that is so true you know i saw it i was thinking about that i said why do people think we're crazy you know because it's just like if they're not fully awake they're never gonna get <laughs> they're never gonna get that you know that message that we're trying to send they have to be able to go through the things that we have gone through to be able to receive the messages that are waiting for them you know a lot of people choose to be in that sleep state and i'm just trying, really trying to understand now i don't know what's what you think is crazy but that's crazy for you to be walking around blind all the time you know i'd rather for me to be able to you know it gets frustrating us as empaths be able to collect all that energy uh having to recharge ourselves as much as possible especially if you're getting the upgrades and uh upgrades and downloads a lot you know you have to keep recharging yourself because you're giving and taking so much energy that's recycling different things that you're you're probably going through and others as well being able to you know, you have to be able to protect yourself. Like I had to go through that yesterday. I was around over a thousand and some people yesterday. And it was like, that was a really good accomplishment for me since I've been, cause it's like when my other, my middle daughter, she graduated three years ago. So I wasn't even really fully awake yet. Well, I was awake, but it was, I guess I was so happy for my daughter's accomplishment i blocked myself that was before i really actually knew how to be able to protect my energy like that but being able to go through this situation you know they i mean we are able to feel others energy we are able to feel when people are trying to give us a hoopla you know bs or whatever or knowing they're trying to mask certain certain things you know people used to come oh Rosalind, i'm okay i said you a damn lie you better quit come on with the come on <laughs> you know but it's a beautiful thing don't allow anybody to let you feel like you're crazy you know i had to grow up you know um having my mom's ex-husband tell me that was a mental illness for me to know the things that i know you know say certain things because i didn't speak like normal children did at that age telling my parents about my past lives and who is relation to me and my family and they're like how does she know this and this was like way before i even got a connection with my dad but it's a beautiful blessing to be able to look at the things that we were, you know, that has been placed in our lives. Even though at times it might feel like a, 
a, a curse more than it's a blessing and you know and i really feel y'all on that you know it especially when you're still new going through your you know your ascension your dark night of the soul your spiritual awakenings through these shifts uh being able to hear from tra traumatic issues that have pla been placed in your life you know a lot of those things having painful memories that keeps reoccurring to you that you're really trying hard to let go of that is really crazy to have to deal with because i you know i feel for y'all i said i always tell you when you open up to me you know half of the time i feel y'all before y'all come in you know you, you're being confused you're you're looking for closure in your life you're looking for validation to see if anybody else going through the things that i'm going through you know how were you able to you know walk knowing the things that you know walking you know walking your path knowing the things you know that can be very scary to you and it's just like a beautiful blessing like i tell y'all all the time and i know you're probably tired of hearing it but i love to be able to you know make videos and being able to send that reassurance to people that you are not crazy you're just spiritually enhanced <laughs> you know we're we the good folks you know so never feel like you're an affliction never feel like you're a mistake or you know never put yourself down because god almost really felt highly of you for you to be able to be placed with all these beautiful gifts in your life and yeah i know i, I understand it can be very scary at times it can work on your nerves because you're attracting a lot of energy towards you you're you're attracting broken people with a lot of self insecurities upon themselves and you know that's what we do we mirror things that people don't want us to they, they they try to cloak a lot and they can't do that with us and that's a good thing for me because i want to know if you full of shit <laughs> while you coming towards me excuse my french but you know being able to know and you know get that little 30 second second trailer in my life to let me know do i need to move away from you or do i need to, you know do i need to walk away or do i need to help guide you you know and that's a beautiful blessing for that i mean i deal with both kinds and it's it's a blessing for me not allow somebody else's ignorance to stop what I'm doing. I'm not going to allow that. You know, it's just like I tell people, I love the community that I have started. I love the fact that when my other family, extended family, I don't like calling them subscribers. I don't like to call them fans or whatever you want to call them. I love y'all like you're my brothers and my sisters. You know, I have family in Poland. I have family in Sweden. I have family in um, Japan, Iraq, you know, uh, New Zealand. You know all these different places germany and it's just like for y'all to be dropping your comments let me know the things that you have endured in your life and you're able to see the things that has really brought like a, a cloud over you you're still trying so hard to find that silver lining and you know the more you 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 persevere and the more you thrive for the things you truly want in your life you're gonna get those but it's, it's just like we have to always go through these trying times for us to be able to appreciate those blessings that come in you know you have to be able to look at it it's like things because you want in your life right now and it does not happen you you have better things that's coming for you you i mean you're praying for a certain thing you you're you know you're asking the universe let me get this let me get that you know and they're telling you you know you have to work for these things they're not gonna just hand them to you you know what is so quickly handed to you it can be it, it will dissolve with a quickness so you have to understand that the, the pain and the anguish that you're experiencing is going to turn out to be your biggest blessing and it took me a while to have to see that and you know i, I almost damn near got on my knees last night and cried and i understood why i had to go through the things i had to go through because yesterday if that wasn't a self-reflection of strength right there i don't know what is dear lord amen thank you jesus you know going through all those different things really going through them you know being able to see your comments to let me know Rosalind you you know because of your videos and the things that you spoke about has allowed me to be able to push forward allow me to be able to not sell myself short allow me to be able to see the things I wasn't able to see just on my own you know I tell people you are strong stronger than you even have the capacity to even comprehend you know you have to be able to just I have to be that spiritual reminder of you to let you know whatever you are looking for is already instilled in you. You just have to be able to search and find it. A lot of people try to go find validations in the exterior when they need to find it in the interior. You know, you have to be able to do that. I was one of those type of people, you know, because I'm not going to sit up here and fake the funk. <laughs> I'm going to tell you, I look for validations out of people to make me feel like I was doing right. But I had to stop doing that because 
you'll be looking for days. You'll be looking for years. If you feel like you got to try to make everybody happy, you're not. You went, The person you need to start making happy is yourself. That's what you need to do. You have to be able to heal and let go of things that is really holding you back, blocking your blessings away. There are so many times I self-sabotage myself because I was scared of what that road was going to lead me to because I couldn't see what was going on. And it, it, it's really... Is at that point where we hold faith in things we can see when we should have been able to hold faith in things we cannot see. Being able to trust in ourselves, be able to have that confidence in ourselves, have that strength within ourselves, and knowing that the universe is not going to send us somewhere and just abandon us like that. And I know I must be talking some good stuff because my phone just lit up again. But that's the things that we need to set on ourselves. We're not crazy. But for you to have those those uh, you're spiritually enhanced that way is a beautiful feeling you know you have to be able to just see it for yourself that it's a beautiful feeling because it's like yeah you've been through abuse you went through so many different types of abuse you've been hurt so many types of ways but when you can try to find it in your heart to make other people's laugh other people laugh other people feel loved because you knew what that felt like to be that way that's strength right there that's love right there you know, but you have to be able to instill that within yourself. Find that love that you 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 try to push on others and push it on yourself. Give yourself that credit where credit's due. You know, you might feel that you, you know, Rosalind, the things aren't changing. You know, I'm not getting what I want. But we never know what is going on behind the scenes. You don't know what universe is getting uh, put up, worked up together for you. You know, especially when they see you constantly getting knocked down but you still getting back up, that's the strength right there because, you know, there's a lot of people that gave up on their lives and hung themselves or, you know, did something, you know, very self-inflicted. You know, I used to be a cutter. I used to pop pills. I used to smoke weed and drink because of the pain and the anguish I experienced. No more. You know, I, I'm here for a reason. Now I see my purpose. You know, and I, it was for me to have to go through these things to be able to project to y'all. Keep it real. Be honest about the things I've endured in my life that, you know, I can never change. But I can just be able to change them for the, the future. To be able to have a beautiful future. Being able to be a part of your life and you be a part of mine is truly a blessing to me. And being able to see the things that was so hard for me to see before. Because it's like you can't be able to appreciate your blessings if you stay focused on that painful stuff that you have endured for so long. You can't. That's not fair to you. It's not. Because it's like, what can you? What it, what good is it going to do for you to hold on to that pain? You have to keep telling yourself that. What are you getting in a positive sense for you to hold on to the things that's been done to you? Because I guarantee you the people has, that has inflicted that stuff on you is sleeping just fine. They find it other ways because they don't, they hate themselves. And they're trying to make, if they, you know, they did their damage to you, they're working on the next person. Instead of trying to fix what they got to fix within themselves, they work on the next person, putting their ugly out on somebody. So don't allow yourself to keep enduring that pain. Keep walking around in that rotating door of the things, the painful scenario that you can just stop that replay. And just put pop another DVD in, but do it of happiness, of love, you know, striving, surviving, ascending, elevating, evolving, you know, allow yourself your 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 spiritual gift, help you feel everything that's positive that's aiming your way. So I hope you are able to resonate with the content of my video. Uh, I hope y'all have a blessed, safe weekend, being responsible for everything you do. Know that you are truly blessed, highly favored, and forever loved. And knowing there's always somebody out there praying for your better days. And I'm going to give my post notification shout out to Richard Mora and Pop Bump Brother Relax. And uh, uh, send out as much love and light as you possibly can. Like and subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Drop me a line and let me know if you resonate with the content of this video. It's truly appreciated. Give me a thumbs up and also share. And I'll see you in my next video. Much love. Peace. Be wild.